Hey everybody, welcome back to Dad Does Videos. Today I'm coming at you from one of our bathtubs where I am going to show you how to replace your overflow drain cover. And that's what this is right here. If you always wondered like, what the heck is this other thing above my tub drain? It's the overflow drain cover. These are really easy to install. The whole point of having an overflow drain, and that's what the, the kind of pipe is behind it, and I'll show you that once I take this off, is that it's a way to prevent your tub from overflowing. Say you're taking a bath and you're getting it ready and the phone rings and you kind of, you know, um, kind of forgot about the, uh, your, your bathtub filling up. This is a way that your bathtub automatically prevents the water from rising too high and then going over top and getting on your floors and going, um, under your floors, which could prevent a, uh, which can cause a, a pretty big, Kind of water disaster in your home so what happens is that the water will fill up and then go underneath here there are holes underneath here and go into another pipe that just automatically drains behind your tub it's a nice uh, way to prevent some of those situations mine is getting a little bit older and gunky looking you can see some of the the uh the, the calcified water on it and i thought it'd be a good time to replace it so first up is get your flathead screwdriver out and just take out these screws right here. Okay, so we have the cover off and this is what you see down here. Just keep your screws for now. It depends on what replacement you get. Some of them give you screws, some of them you have to, to reuse these. So just kind of put that off to the side right now. Here's what the actual um, hole looks like so to speak after you get the cover off and this is what I was talking before uh, talking about before Here's the actual drain that the water will come up and then go down in there to prevent your your water level from getting too high um, Depending upon your situation you could also replace this gasket right here and this is just a seal that um, Kind of fills the space so then the water level comes up It hits this and goes over the gasket and then into the tube um, I could probably stand to replace mine, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but those, that's something you can just get at Home Depot or Lowe's. What I am, however, going to do right now is clean all this gunk the best that I can with whatever works for you. Some people like to use some dish soap and a toothbrush uh, or some tub cleaner. It just depends on your situation. But as you can see, this is kind of kind of gunky. There's some old kind of sealant or caulk on here too. So I'm going to do the best that I can to, um, to make that look a little nicer. As you can see here, I got rid of a lot of the gunk and dirt around the, the opening for the overflow pipe. So what we're going to do now is get our replacement overflow plate out of the package and get it ready to roll. Okay, so remember earlier when I told you you're going to want to hold on to these two screws that were into your old plate, right? So here's how we're going to use them. We are going to use this. This is an adapter that came with your one hole overflow plate. And I should mention here that, as you can see, I went from two screws to this, just this one that's going to have the one hole in the middle. So this comes with this adapter plate and this one screw. So what we're going to do is use our two old screws and put this into place right here. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got the adapter piece up as you can see right here. And one thing you just wanna be careful of here um, when you screw your old screws in, so to speak here, you want to make them tight, but, but don't go overboard. I mean, you can see I'm trying to wiggle this and it's not, it's not moving at all. So something tight like that is just perfectly fine. You just don't want to over tighten and then hurt the, uh, the bathtub. So once you have that set up, get your new screw that came with the, the new overflow plate and you're just going to want to put your new plate up right in the holes like kind of the the um the cutouts so to speak go on the bottom because remember if the water does come up that's how the water gets in the overflow pipe and you're just going to want to put that on like this and then tighten it up okay as you can see here i put the screw in used my phillips head screwdriver and tightened it up 
and everything looks fine. You can't even really see some of that small, a uh, little bit of dirt residue we had on the right side. This covers it up. So I am going to go and um, put some uh, some clear caulk along the top and the sides here. That's certainly an option for you to consider. I just think it, it finishes the look. The nice thing about that is it keeps water out of the overflow tube if it just happens to drip from you know your shower or the faucet, anything like that. So water will come up here and kind of just flow off to the side if you have some caulk up there and it won't get in there when you don't want it to. Okay, now we are ready to put our, our caulk or sealant on. And um, again, this is just optional. I think it's just, it, it adds a finishing touch and it's, it's, it's safer because you don't want water dripping in there when it's not supposed to be. So uh, the brand really doesn't matter. Just get yourself a, a reputable name brand. I like to get one that dries clear up here by my thumb, as you can see, rather than white. But that's just a personal preference and just obviously make sure it's specific for your bathroom. Uh, so that means it, it can withstand water, right? So what you're going to want to do, uh, there are two versions. You could get kind of this squeeze version or you can get a, uh, a tube that fits in a caulk gun up to you. For this, you just want to pop the top off right here and get some scissors and cut diagonally um, the uh, underneath here, the tube. Or if you have a caulk gun, put it in the part where you can you can cut your um, uh, the the spout, so to speak. And then you're just going to use this and go from one side where the cutout is down here, all the way to the other side where the cutout is. And you're going to stop where that those cutouts are because remember that's where you want the water to come up if you ever face a situation where your tub is about to overflow because the water will go up in here and into the overflow pipe. You don't want to stop that from happening. When you do this, uh, when you put your caulk on, just wet your finger afterwards and then kind of make a nice, neat seal. And that's it. So here is what our new overflow cover looks like with the caulk on, you'll see that it's white and you're probably thinking to yourself, man, this dude just said it was clear. It goes on white and it will dry clear. I'll give you a shot of that in a few hours once, uh, once it dries. But as you can see here, it's from this side to from the kind of when the, the cutouts start all the way to this side. And I use my finger and just went around Wetting your finger makes it a little bit more slippery so then the caulk doesn't get all over your hands and kind of get gunked up as you're doing this. So it is about 24 hours later, maybe a little bit more than that. And as you can see here, our white caulk turned clear and it goes all the way around from one side to the other. And again, the holes on the bottom are open so the water can go in there and drain into the overflow pipe. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.